Hi Sagittarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do a reading for April. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind that this reading is for April, so you might any time in April. So if it doesn't resonate right now, I would urge you to watch it at a later date, okay? Because this is kind of like a preview, perhaps. It probably, in most cases, in some cases, yes, it's already happened, but in most cases, it's coming, okay? Keep that in mind. This is for Sagittarius. This could be what's happening right now as well. So you never know. We're all at different stages. Um, so Sagittarius. This is an overall energy with this card. Then we're going to use that deck right there. That's Tarot of Dreams, by the way. Um, what do we got for Sagittarius? Ooh, Magician Awareness. This is manifestation. This is ha owning your power. Having the power to get whatever you want. You have the power to get whatever you want at this time. You have a divine connection. All you gotta do is call it in. What you want, you can have. Call it in. Believe it. You have to believe. You have to take action to bring success as well. I see that there's a lot of passion inside of you. Other people can see your passion. They can probably see your, your awakened, your awakened awareness as well. So keep that in mind. People can see. People can see your, your um, inevitable success, put it that way. People can see your positive energy at this time. Trust me, they can. What do we have for Sagittarius? What do we have for Sagittarius? Ten of Cups, reverse. Some of you may be dealing with some family conflict. Okay, there could be some conflict at home. I'm going to be honest with you. But it could be coming to an end. Or, you know, you're right in the middle of it. It could be the case. But this is conflict. Family issues, perhaps. At home, you know, there could be some conflict. It could be a change in home. You could be thinking about moving. I don't know. Nine of Swords. This is releasing. Releasing tension. Releasing anxiety. Broadening your horizons, learning new skills, doing new things, stepping outside of your comfort zone, perhaps really focusing on, you know, bringing abundance into your life. I think that you're really focused. You're trying anyway. You're trying. You may be at the beginning of a new endeavor and you're trying really hard, um, but you've made some poor decisions in the past and I feel like you're, you may have a little bit of a problem um, adapting. Okay, there may be some new circumstances that you're adapting to, you're trying to adapt to, you're, you're putting in a lot of effort to adapt. It's not easy. It's not easy. I think you're going, you may be going through some turbulence. Um, you know, maybe you need to be a little bit more flexible. Um, not worry so much. Don't worry about it. Try not to worry. Okay. Whatever's going on, you're going to be fine. Don't worry. Don't let, don't let your fears or your worries or whatever get in the way of your success. Um, you guys may be stuck right now. You may be, you know, resisting some sort of change. Now, the Two of Pentacles is about change, and the Hangman is too. It's like somebody's resisting change, right? You know, sometimes... You have to try new things, <laughs> you know. Um, I feel as though right now you need to have a new perspective, a new outlook. It may not be glamorous to try new things. It may not be fun to try new things, but it looks to me like you need to. You may be holding on to something from your, who knows what, where it's coming from, but you're holding on to something that needs to be dropped. It could be an old habit. It could be an old way. Something that's, it could be, um, 
something unhealthy for you. You could have an unhealthy habit that needs to go. It's causing um, burdens within you. Maybe it's weighing you down. Something is weighing you down. It could be a family dynamic, a family issue. Something is weighing you down. Um, maybe and maybe and maybe you need to release it. Me, you know, there was an old saying I heard a long time ago about drama. When I was in my thirties, it was about releasing drama. Anybody that brings drama to your life, cut them free. Cut them free. To hell with that shit. You don't need it. So, I really feel as the or cut yourself free. That's a little bit better. Okay, cut yourself free from other people's drama. Okay, you don't need their baggage. You don't need their burdens. You don't need to take on their responsibilities. Anyhow, it feels as though you may you may be feeling emotionally um, unhappy at this time because of maybe of because of other people's you know what their the burdens that they they want you to carry. People might want you to carry their burdens, and maybe you know you just need to cut them off. You know. Take your power back. Find that force within you to do what's right for you. Yeah, break free. This is about breaking free, Sagittarius. Completing a difficult cycle in your life. You know, removing people from your life that don't serve you. And I'm just being honest with you. I mean, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, completion, completion, completion. It's like you're holding on to a difficult situation when you have the ability to... Remove yourself from it. You always have the ability to break free. You have the power. This is the sword of power, but you got to communicate the truth. You got to speak your truth. You got to be assertive. You have to protect yourself from people that don't have your best interest at heart. I really feel as though you guys need to liberate. You need to break free. There's this is what this is. Um, stop sacrificing yourself for people that. you don't enjoy, people that don't make you happy, people that steal your energy. Oh my goodness, this is healing. This is a time of hope. It's a time of inspiration. It's time to believe, okay? This is wish fulfillment. You will get what you wish for. You will get what you dream of, but you got to have hope and you got to believe and you got to trust. You got to believe. So this is this is the overall right here. Wishes, wish fulfillment. You are going to get something that you have been wishing for. Um, freedom. It looks like freedom to me, you know, because this is this ten of swords is it's like the worst is over. Okay? The burdens that you have carried, this overwhelming feeling of fear and anxiety and depression and What's hold, been holding you down? I'm telling you what. It's just, it's over. It's just about over. This is a blessing. This is a healing. You are going to receive a blessing, a healing, some sort of miracle. <laughs> You're like, please, God, I do need a miracle, right? I know that you need a miracle because you've been through so much. I know that. There's been a lot of people that it's like they've been weighing you down and holding you back. And it's just, and it's, and the thing is, is that you have been trying to carry them. It's like you've been trying to carry them and <laughs> you can't do it anymore. Anyway, this is a blessing. It's peace. Peace is coming. Peace. Rainbows are a symbol of peace. Okay? Oh. Yeah, tension is going to dissipate. The tension, the tense period that you've been in. I feel like you're reluctant to cut the cords. You're reluctant to cut people free from your life, you know, because you are trying to, you know, be loving and caring, right? You're trying to, you know, extend yourself lovingly to people. But I feel like you may not be getting the reciprocation that you deserve. I feel like you have the best of intentions and that... You deserve love, and you may not know that you deserve love, but I'm telling you right now that you do deserve love, so just keep that, put that in your pipe and smoke it. I don't know where that came from, but you do deserve love. For some of you, you are probably going to receive love or an emotional or emotional support or something from somebody, some sort of help or um, 
some sort of love from somebody, emotional support. That's what I keep thinking this is. Some sort of um, tender loving care, per se, from somebody. Um, or maybe that's you, you know, seeing that it's time to break free. It's time to follow your heart. Maybe it's you deciding, you know what, I have love to offer. I deserve love. I deserve love. This right here is is somebody that is ready for love and wants love and is open to love and I feel though that you guys are really reluctant. You're really reluctant to cut somebody out of your life that is not making you happy. And that's sad. It is sad. It is sad because you deserve happiness, you deserve peace, and you deserve love. So I don't know where that's coming from, but somebody needs to hear that. Um, you're stuck. You're really, really stuck. And it's it's because I think you don't want to hurt anybody. Uh -huh. But it's time for a fresh start, and I think you know that. I think it is time for you to start over. It's time for you to begin again. It's time for you to have faith. It's time for you to step into the unknown, right? I mean, that's what this is. It's time for your new beginning. It's time for you to face your fears. It's time for you to go your own way. It's time for you to be confident. Be your own hero. People will respect you and recognize your effort. You will gain more respect by following your own path than letting somebody else control you. I feel as though you are going to be victorious. You are going to be triumphant and that you guys are going to take back your power. I see it with that Ace of Swords and this. It's like making progress, moving forward. I see you guys as being a warrior. Succeeding, seriously. I see you guys really... Proving to the world who you are. Look, you know that. I mean, take a look at this. This is like, this is it. This is this is. I won. You're the winner. You overcame. You overcame the obstacle. And people are going to recognize that. People are going to recognize your strength. So keep that in mind. People are going to see your strength. I see it. That's what I mean. People are going to see, or they're seeing it now. People are going to see your ability to overcome whatever obstacle you have been through. They're going to, they're, you're, you are gaining respect as we speak. So just keep that in mind. You may be needing to remove yourself from some kind of commitment that you are not happy about. Somebody is in an unhappy situation. Maybe it's at home. I do think for many of you it's at home. Could be at work though as well. It could be. It's like when you walk through those doors, it's like, oh man, I hate to walk through those doors. I hate it. It just brings sadness to you. It's like the minute you walk through those doors, it's like, oh shit. Maybe you need to close that door and lock it. Somebody is in, in an unhappy situation where they're just, they don't want to be there and they need to find the force within them, the resources to stand up for themselves. You need to have faith. You need to have trust. You need to believe. Like I said. Believe and you can have it. This is follow your own path. Believe in yourself. Don't let the government or anybody the people that govern you Don't let society, don't let 
you know, I can't ever think of the freaking word. You're, you're, you, you follow your own path, okay? Maybe you need to take the non-traditional approach and just go your own way. Believe in yourself. Have faith and trust in you. Both of these cards are about faith. Both of these cards are about belief, belief, believing. Believe that you can have whatever you want and you can, okay? Some of you may be, you know, you know, we may have some legal issues pending. Okay, because this can signify government, and this is like a commitment going to hell. So we could have a commitment that is falling apart. Just saying. Or we could have a new commitment coming in. We could have both. It feels as though somebody is about to start fresh. And follow their heart. And head towards something... <laughs> Very, very triumphant. It's like where you win. You're the winner here. You, you're going to win. If you do have a court case coming or a divorce or something and you're worried about uh, losing money, you know, you're worried about financial assets, whether it's a divorce or it's with whoever, you know, there's so many different court cases. I don't even know about them all. Anyway, if you feel like you're going to lose money and that's why you're staying, I'm here to tell you that you're going to win. You're going to win. Whatever you want. You're going to win. So you're the winner here, Sagittarius. So don't let other people bring you down. Okay? Don't let them worry you. Anyway. Oh, my God. Just happened to flick the back, boat, back over. You will be the winner. You're going to receive some something really big. Huge opportunity coming for you. Huge this is a gift from God. I'm not kidding. This is a golden opportunity that is going to be presented to you. Something bigger and better than where you've been. This is something that you can really like put in the bank. Okay, this is something you can save, something you can keep, something long term, something solid. This is huge. And it's because you are strong. And it's because you take ownership. And it's because you persevere. So don't let anybody bring you down. I'm telling you right now that you are going to be the winner. You are going to be the victor. And you are receiving a big, huge payout. Whether it's financially or it's in the form of a partnership, you are going to receive a payout of some sort, a reward. A reward for your strength and perseverance. Okay? You are. That's what this is. A big reward is coming. And it's because you proved yourself in some way. I'm serious. You overcame. You overcame. So, I, you know, this is beautiful. We're going to get some of these. Is, is this love? It could be. You are Whatever it is that you're wishing for, whatever it is, whether it's love or money or whatever it is, this is getting what you want. It absolutely is. So you, your but the thing is, the reason you're getting what you want is because of your hard work, and that's the truth. That's the that's the truth. So, some of you could be getting into a new commitment. Some of you are probably getting a divorce. Okay, I'm just being honest with you here. There could be some upcoming legal issues, and maybe you're afraid because maybe you're afraid to get a divorce, or who knows what. You know, maybe you're afraid because of finances. So I'm telling you what, you're not gonna lose. You're not gonna lose. Um, Let's get some of these. There's, there's a miracle coming <laughs> with that star card, okay? And it's, it's going to bring some peace. It's going to bring you some peace. You're about to get some sort of peace back in your life. Thank the Lord. What do we got for Sagittarius? There could be a move 
with this Ten of Cups reversed. Somebody could be moving out. Just being honest with you here. We could be dealing with anybody, okay? We have everybody here, so it really doesn't matter. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have Taurus. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And this is starting over, you know, starting over right here. It can be a little scary, but leads to something big. Um, we have Aquarius. We have Aries. We have everybody, so just go with that. Um, Woo! Sagittarius. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. You know what you got to do. Whether this is an ex-partner or it's an ex-job or it's just somebody that you live with, something needs to be released. And that is very, very clear. No doubt. One more. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. You know who I'm talking about. I don't have to tell you. And I'm going to show you what's on the bottom because... I have to. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Now you know what I'm talking about. Whether this is a romantic partner or a job. Or whatever, however it pertains to you. You know what you... And this tells me you know. The Hierophant. That is inner guidance. That's a high priest. That's you know. You do know. And you're very intuitive at this time. You know what you need to release, whether it's an ex or it's a partner, uh, work part, whoever it is. You got somebody to release. You know it. I know it. Because you got something better, and I think you know what that is, too. So it's time for you to follow your inner guide. Go your own way. Drop the baggage. Drop the burdens. Drop the people that don't support you. And trust and have faith that you will get a reward out of it because a reward is absolutely positively coming. The reward could come this this month. It could. You could get a you could get a get you could get a bonus. Okay. You could get a payout. I don't know. You could get anything. This is like a gift. This could be even a partnership. This is something that you can touch. So you are going to be receiving a gift, but the ultimate gift. Okay. Let me tell you what the ultimate gift that you are going to receive is respect. In peace. Good luck.